So I'm coming at you with another makeup tutorial. This one is definitely more neutral and more everyday. I've actually worn this look to school before, but I'm using a drugstore um, eyeshadow duo. And this is a video targeted to people who are just getting started with makeup, are kind of learning to create that smoky eye, or maybe just want a nice neutral palette. And this is from Neutrogena, and it's the Nourishing Eyeshadow Duo. I know they have Nourishing Eyeshadow Trios and Quads, but the Nourishing Eyeshadow Duo and Honey Nut. The cool thing about this is on the back it actually shows you a way of actually creating a look with this. Now in the picture they put the brown all over the lid and then highlighted with the beige. But I kind of wanted this to be more teenager friendly or maybe young girl friendly or maybe girls just starting to get interested in makeup. And sometimes you might not feel confident to put that brown all over your eye. Um, and I personally like to have a fresher kind of appeal for the eye. So what I did was I took honey and the nut and I put the honey over the lid and the nut in the crease rather than nut all over the lid. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I mentioned a lot of drugstore products that I really like and hopefully you guys can try them out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know in the comments or through messages what video you guys would like me to do next. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day. Ciao! We're gonna start with our eyes and we're gonna start off with priming our eyes. So I totally suggest you start off all of your eyeshadow um, looks with a primer because it really does make a difference. I'm not sure in how a primer can actually a primer like Urban Decay Primer Potion can actually help bring out the colors but all I know is that it really does make your eyeshadow last a long time. So, um, now that I'm done lecturing you guys, I'm going to take Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to apply this on both of my eyes. Just like a little bit goes a long way. And then just rub that all over. All the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using today is Drugstore. Because again, this is a drugstore smoky brown look. And we're going to be using the Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeshadow Duo and this is in Honey Nut. I remember picking this up because I talk about her all the time, 38 Aya, 38 Aya, 38, the first YouTuber I actually watched. She loved this, so I picked it up and I just started using it because she used it. She was like my YouTube idol. Um, so I'm getting that with a Eco Tools brush and I'm going to be taking the honey color. And um, I'm just going to put this all over the lid, so... And this matches my skin tone pretty well. So this is kind of just mattifying my eye and kind of concealing any veins that I might have because I do have veiny eyelids. So Now, you might have noticed when I was just applying my lid color, I applied it in the crease as well. And I did that for a specific reason. A lot of the times when you're applying eyeshadow in your crease, it blends a lot better when there's something underneath it. Not just a primer, but an actual shadow. So taking that neutral color and putting that all over is going to help this color, which is the nut color, blend even easier. So I'm going to be using my Posh Smoky and Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to be taking this side, and I just recently washed this so it's a little, a teeny bit wet, so I'm just going to like tap it a little bit to dry it off. Okay, so this is really fluffy, and this is a nice brush for the crease because it's like right there, you know? So I'm going to get this in the color, and tap off the excess again. And we're going to do this really, really slow, because this is, again, a very beginner tutorial. So we're going to get the brush and we're going to place it like right there and we're going to tap. Tap it right in the crease. If you don't know where your crease is, using your finger, go to the top of your eyeball and just lightly touch that because that's your crease. So now that we have the color in there, we're going to kind of dust the brush off and now we're going to begin to blend. And now we're really shading in. And then when you have the color in and you're working on blending it, take your brush and go like this rather than this. And just kind of blend it into the crease. Just like so. And as I showed you guys in my last tutorial, 
you want to start off kind of light and then work your way up with color because if you apply all the color at once there's more of a chance of you messing up or not getting the color where you want it to go so there we go that's the first layer of shadow and now we're going to do the same thing to our other eye just like that now looking at my eyes I notice I have a nice light brown smoky eye already. It was really, really simple. But say I wanted to tone down that brown a little bit. Don't get the makeup remover wipe out quite yet. Let's try and kind of not totally delete the brown, but kind of lighten it up a bit. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go back with that honey color with the same brush. And we're just going to kind of trace over our crease color with the honey color again. Not exactly a highlight color, more of a transitional color. And we're just going to lighten up that brown. Do you see how we did that? Just like so. Now we're going to work on our highlight color. So we're going to take that honey color again with our Eco Tools brush. And we're going to apply this right on the brow bone. And you don't have to wear highlights. I usually don't like wearing a highlight, but since this is a matte highlight, I'm a bigger fan of this. Just like so, guys. So now we have a smoky brown. Okay, so now we're going to apply some eyeliner. Now, if you want to keep this look, you know, brown or neutral, you can use a brown eyeliner. I suggest the NYC Automatic Eye Pencil in bold brown. But I'm going to be using black today. And this is my favorite black eyeliner from the drugstore. And this is CoverGirl's Perfect Point Plus. So I'm going to apply my eyeliner, just regular. But if you want to know how I apply my eyeliner, look back at my other tutorials and you could actually watch me. But because I'm running out of time, I'm just going to apply it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied my eyeliner and I also put on some of the Tarte Let Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. Now we're going to work on our face. And for school, I really like to wear a tinted moisturizer. There are a lot of drugstore ones you can get, but I actually use Lancome. I know it's kind of a pricey, pricey brand, but that's obvious. But it does work for me, and I actually had a gift card when I bought this. So it's the Bionfe Multivital um, SPF 30 Sunscreen tinted moisturizer. So I'm just going to take that on my hand and then with a Studio Basics foundation brush I'm just going to take this and paint it on my face. <laughs> and while it's going to look a little bit dark when you actually first apply it, it really is very thin so it kind of as you spread it around it just blends right in and it doesn't look dark. For my blush I'm going to be using Lilium Stila Convertible Color just with my finger, it's just a nice healthy pink to give your face a nice healthy glow. So I'm just going to smile, tap it right there and right there. And now with my fingers, I'm just going to blend it. And it stays creamy so you don't have to worry about it drying on you before you blend it out. Just like so. So now we have our healthy glow. Um, and finally, for our lips, I'm going to be using my Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush Lip Gloss in Fuzzy Navel. I love this. Seven bucks at Victoria's Secret. I love the Beauty Rush glosses, even though they're sticky. I just love them. They smell so good, and they're so pretty. And some of them are, like, limited edition for summer or different holidays. It's just really, really nice. And this one smells like orange juice. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely a lot lighter and more everyday than my last tutorial. Um, I know I've done a lot of these neutral looks, but I really hope it's beneficial to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to leave me requests and send me messages as what you want to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great night. Ciao.